Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. I hope you guys are doing well today. So it's taken me an hour at this point to get into a Mythic Plus run. Turns out if you're not 226 eye level with a big penis and uh, all that other stuff, you don't get invited anymore. Uh, it's really interesting and fun interactive gameplay. Yeah. So um, yeah, so since the last video, we've had two major upgrades. One is I got my Frost Legendary finally. Second one is I have a nice new shiny weapon. Now I got the weapon because on last Tuesday I got really annoyed and bored that I could not get into a Mythic Plus higher than a 3. Um, and I basically just put my key in and into LFG and said, look guys, low geared, but if you need the key, if you want a high run or whatever, I'll take anybody as long as we complete the run. Uh, it turns out a group of three people, all like full Mythic uh, Castle Nath 3 gear and things like that, came out and said like, actually we need this for the trinket if you don't mind. That's coming, you'll probably die a little bit, but as long as you're okay with that, let's go. And I'm like, you know what? I can deal with this. <laughs> I can deal with dying a little bit as long as we get something. Uh, and we actually two chested it, but uh, from my chest, I got a weapon that combined with the 226 offhand makes us some nice luck, I guess. Yeah. Um, I can't really deny that we've been quite lucky here. So the slows are probably not really great during this week with Penguin, but hey. So it's just trying. This is literally I did the first two pulls of a dungeon before before it fell apart. Um, this is my second attempt. Um, so we are literally just trying out frost now. Um, with the legendary, I believe at three targets, you literally just blizzard into um, ice lance, like I'm doing as such. So we can't stop that, can we? The druids probably have ways to stop that, but I personally don't have a way to stop the um, loyal beast, which is going to be interesting later on. What we're going to do in a second is actually going to jump back and grab this uh, gargoyle. Most people do it strange, and they use a gargoyle on like these packs. These packs aren't hard. You don't you don't need a gargoyle here. You need a gargoyle on here in a minute when you pull everything. So, I am still, like, Renown 6. We've got our best conduit as Frost now, which is nice. I'd like to pull more than two mobs. That would be much appreciated. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen, unfortunately. Um, but, yeah, so we are still staying low Renown. And the reason for that is because I'm not grinding Renown out with 9.1 around the corner. And the chances are my um, things will just change so much. What am I dying to? Why am I not getting heals? What is going on? Okay. So the chances are we'll be going... I'm guessing Necrolord next patch. Um, so there's just... Oh, close. Um, yeah, there's no reason me grinding this out just to change it in a, in a couple of weeks. So um, we're just leaving it low for now. We'll pick up Passive Renown as and when. But aside from that, it looks like we're going to fail this as well. Well, this is where we failed in the last group, actually. I just don't understand how things are going so horribly wrong. Oh, it's going to be a fun day. So I've been trying to, i genuinely been logging on and trying to do Mythic Plus, but it just, it ends like this almost every time. So we are cleaving to crap the um, sins there. stop them spawning more sins so <laughs> i mean frost is probably not a bad option actually i was thinking like sanguine frost probably not great this week but oh my god just the crowd control on 100 sins is probably not a bad thing in itself so druid not the best for grievous weeks because it really struggles to get rid of grievous wounds but it's a seven this shouldn't be too hard to heal through let's actually have a look at what the healing's like at the moment 3.1k, it's going to range this. Am I not outranging this? So you can max range this and you won't take damage. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean... So I looked onto my boomy today and tried to get into a key and people were immediately like, yeah, come with this. Now, my boomy's like 225 eye level with pretty much bis kind of statted gear and things like that and so i'm not surprised he got into a group quickly but the level of group was just like really good anything below a 15 now apparently is like this 
uh, really struggling to get like good keys and things like that and he just turns toxic very quickly and i don't really know what changed all of a sudden like is this just because we're getting low on like obviously everyone's waiting for 9.1 is it getting to that point where the game's just horrible to play apparently so um, so yeah, I, I don't know how successful we're going to be pushing for, I mean, we had a target at one point of trying to hit Keystone Master on Mage before 9.1. I'd love to do it. Um, but my God, are we going to be able to? Like, so I'm actually going to pop all of my cooldownies here. Now there's more than three targets. Let's get rid of that. The other mage can do his own. I'm going to pop Ice Barrier here, which is like... I'm doing a lot of damage. I'm doing like 10k DPS right now, but... Oh my god, we're actually going to die again, aren't we? Oh, I have aggro. That's a bigger issue. That's that's a somewhat different issue. Okay, so no one's the spelling, which is also an issue. Yeah, this is super scuffed. So we popped all the time just to hopefully survive a second. Let's get these down wow this is going horrendously bad so i'm hopefully gonna kill these before they kill well, i'm not killing you am i now can i invis before i die i did invis let's drop another blizzard we need to kill him or at least move out of the way before he thrashes again i think i'm probably dead here So at one point in that, we burst to like 10k, which is super nice for like 190 level. Um, and that's kind of what Frost does at the moment, is does really, really nice AoE damage, but... Or cleave damage, I suppose, is better. But yeah, god, what are these groups, though? Like, I just don't understand what goes so horribly wrong in these. So I was trying to find the edge there. I can't really see where it is, unfortunately. Right, we've got a flurry. Hopefully this will kill it. It does. Tardy friggin' da. Let's see. Yeah, what? What is going on? I don't even know. So he's going to jump down in a second. We're going to pull everything. I'm going to stand up here. Blizzard and Rune of Power. God, lucky we don't have pride to deal with. Uh, Yeah, so... um, Some of the other things I want to talk about in this video. Blizz reverted their cloning cost thing for uh, for classic in tbc it's now like 15 dollars, which good change very very good change okay if we're gonna do all this i'm actually gonna um can i do that down there i'd like to throw my orb it works nice so i'm expecting some nice damage hold on and i'm getting tangenty but i'd like to pump i think we have aggro on him that's fine, we're going to move, jump down now. Uh, but yeah, so Blizz reverted their uh, cost for the cloning service, which is actually really huge. Um, it's now $15 instead of like 40 or something that it was. Which, I mean, it was just insane, wasn't it? It was crazy, the cost of it. Um, but yeah, so... I mean, if Blizzard actually starts listening to people, and I really don't want to turn this into like another whinge about Blizzard thing, this was a really good move. Blizzard actually listened to the community. I cannot fault them in any way here for this. That it was just a good move. It was fine. They shouldn't have done it in the first place. It should have been this price to start off with. Blah blah blah. But actually, this is just a good positive move. Um, there's no need to be toxic about it or anything like that. And there are people still being like, oh, they shouldn't get brownie points for this. It should have been this in the first place. Yeah, maybe you're right, but you know what? it's done. We, we've got a good result. Just take the positives, do you know what I mean? Like, Got my Hysteria up. I'd really like him to pull now, please. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, so it was a good result. I'm, I'm happy with the, with the price of it now. I think everything's around the fair sort of price. I think that was a big thing that, for me, it was about the only thing worth buying. The boost, maybe the deluxe pack for me wasn't interested, but I don't really buy like the Shadowlands deluxe pack or anything like that. Um, and that is absolutely for players who would be interested in buying that sort of pack. For me, that's just just not me. So, 
Um, yeah, I think everything's around the fair sort of price now. I can't really fault it all too much. We're going to need cold front here and use another ice barrier because otherwise we're just going to get slaughtered because I'm not going to max range because I'm lazy. And if we get another one, we'll use alter time. But yeah, so if Blizzard are actually starting to come around and really pay attention to the community's biggest issues, then... And I think they are. I think if you look at Torghast, Torghast is... Um, they've just added the sockets to the Adamant Vaults, which is when you do a flawless Torghast run, you get five stars. You get to go to the Adamant Vaults and, and get reward. Um, they're, they're actually starting to do things with these like pieces of content that before no one was interested in at all. And now they're like, well, yeah, we see that and, and we're just going to fix that by doing this. And, and what they're saying to fix it is actually working. So fair play to them. This Shami is pumping. He's 195, so he's a really good target for us to actually beat because he's around the same sort of eye level. Um, he seems to burst harder than us, but we seem to win overall, do we? Well, that Hellmaster's in a horrific spot. Yeah, having all of my slows this week is probably not a good thing. Having two lots of them because the other mage is actually Frost as well, albeit much worse geared, um, is definitely not a good thing. But hey, it is what it is. So I'm actually going to use this gargoyle now instead of on the boss. The boss should fall apart. Do not pull them into the boss, for God's sake. So let's do this. Go into melee. Going to get rid of the curse. And he stood right on the edge of my blizzard again. The issue is, is that if they stand outside of my blizzard on the target, I'm ice lancing. I don't get my legendary proc. So, yeah, we like them to be nice and in the middle. Uh, and someone asked me the other day, what's it like playing Frost Mage, which is all about putting like ground effects down compared to an Ellie Shammy. Um, obviously, Ellie Shammy was the same idea with Earthquake. You put lots of ground effects down and things like that. Well, I found Mage, because it has an inbuilt slow, it's much easier to keep targets in where they need to be. So we're going to need to get quite close here. We're going to drop mirror images straight away. And let's go. And I didn't even have to bloodlust. Nice. So I'd like to win here. I don't really know what um, Shami does single target. Or how good they are single target now. They used to have to use a legendary. Okay, this mage has no idea what it's doing. Which means he's going to end up pulling more. Potentially. That's fine. If he doesn't know, he doesn't know. I'd rather people ask though, rather than jumping into a Mythic 7. And being like, not knowing any tactics. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to do this. And bang. Gives us the most time to be able to DPS here. If we can actually play around with doing this. Ooh, and he's still outside the circle. Too long then. So that Shami's actually... Uh, Equal in a single target as well. So he's going to be a really good target to beat overall. I know Shammy's have become very popular all of a sudden. Bruh, this tank movements. We're very close to the edge here and I really don't like it. We have got another ring, ring, uh, ring of power, but God, trying to stand in it is uh, interesting right now. Okay, we killed it. This is going to be an interesting run, I think. I don't think we're going to be able to time this based just on our time at the moment, but I mean, who knows? The thing is with this dungeon is it goes so quickly. Once you kill the second boss, everything just falls apart very quickly, so. How have I pulled aggro? Like, okay, that's bad. Uh, but yeah, so interesting question i try to ask a question every video for you guys to like respond to and some of you do some of you don't um but it's really interesting hearing what you guys have to say and, and what you guys have been up to so um for those of you that are taking a break till 9.1 or just chilling right now what are you guys playing instead um me personally i've been playing a lot of league um i finally hit gold three gold two in league um which is probably the highest i've hit in a long long time i've, I've hit platinum before but that's about it um no stand in my blizzard ow 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 okay so we hit 18k then. uh out of nowhere we did lots of dps but 
yeah, that really hurt. Um, yeah, so what have you guys been doing instead? Um, like I said, I've been playing lots of League. I've been playing Realm of the Mount God, which, for those of you that know, will probably, because it's a little bit of a, like, a cult game, um, it's got a small player base, but it's the perfect player base for the game. If it was any bigger, it would be horrible, um, and everything would be like crowded. And if it was any smaller, I think it would just feel too dead. So it's it's a really good population for the game, but it's something I've played for years. I played it when I was at school, like ten years ago now. Um, and yeah, so it's been really interesting actually. I've been really enjoying it. Um, a friend of mine's told me that about the ESO expansion coming out soon, so that'll be something I'll be playing a little bit. Uh, let me know if you guys want content on that. Um, it won't become the main content on the channel, but it's some, certainly something that if you guys, I'm going to invis because this is going to go bad. Um, if it, it's certainly something if you guys wanted to see a couple of videos on, I'd definitely be happy to do that. I love the game. I've played the game for, for a few years as well. So these are not going to stack in. Okay, so the Shemi actually died. What was the druid doing? I really try not to be toxic in these videos because, again, I'm playing with people that are either alts of people who are like Keystone Masters, etc., or I'm playing with people who are completely like new to Mythic Plus. Um, like this mage is, by the sounds of it, new to the expansion in general. Um, and that, that's fair enough. Absolutely not an issue with that. It's just the fact that, like, I don't really want to be toxic to people in this, but. Sometimes it's not a Mythic Plus thing. It's just a, what are you doing in general? Like, why would you go and do this? Why did he not accept the combat res for 10 years, etc.? Uh, we basically only have two DPS here, so I'm pretty sure we're not going to time this. But, um, yeah, I, I don't really know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> Ironically, we would have needed... Is it 30% we needed? I don't know anymore. I don't even know what percentages and stuff we need anymore shouldn't have kicked that I should have let him keep casting because I'd have been able to kill him there but it's a nice little typhoon uh, but yeah so in the next video which will come out tomorrow I'm actually recording both of them today it was my birthday this week so I'm just taking it nice and easy this week um, but yeah so in the video tomorrow I'd like to try and do a higher mythic plus but getting into the groups just oh my god it's impossible like I genuinely spent about an hour trying to get to this group um, and even then, I actually joined another group first, which was super toxic. Failed at the first um, Thrasher. I specifically want to do Halls of Eight, um, Halls of this place, Halls of Atonement. God, I can't even remember the name um, because of one of the um, Covenant quests I've got, the emissaries. So I'm going to kick that one, and we need to do some real serious damage here. Otherwise, things are going to be alive. That's really nice. As long as he stands in them, he's only standing in three. That's actually the Shami. That surprises me. I thought he knew who, what he was doing, but never mind. So, I've got another Frozen Orb in a second, so I'm going to prop my rune down. Um, and the next Frozen Orb that comes out, I'm going to try and cleave all the adds together. They're going to come up just before this next um, Stone Leap. There you go. So I can actually dispel the curse off myself, which is pretty nice. I'm going to do that. Ugh, the tank stood in it, which is not great because it does do quite a lot of damage. So I'd like them all to go and stack in together. It's not going to happen. Uh, annoyingly enough, I have a blizzard down, so I'm going to take aggro as well. So you've got these three on the other side. I'm actually going to... It's nice from the tank moving the boss over. That's probably the right move, actually. I'm trying to cleave them down with my blizzard procs. Or with my legendary effect, even. Again, could have actually dispelled that, but I just wasn't paying attention enough. That's fine. We did kill it. Again, I'm sure I could be playing these much more optimally, but they're not... It's not really the right type of fight. Like, I'm just having to kite things around and focus on the mistakes and clear up the mistakes rather than anything else here, which is not a nice experience. So is he going to drag the dogs back to the Houndmasters? He really should, because we need to get the Houndmasters dead. But that's fine. If he wants to kill the Gorgons, that's not a problem. I'm going to keep him nice and slow, so when he does need to run away, which he will, he can. Another uh, Blizzard down. So again, I'm 
from what I've heard, and again, a lot of you guys have commented with like tips on Frost and things like that, and I'm really appreciative because I am reading them, I am learning things like that. Um, is that Frost as as well as Fire and Furnace, but Frost gets really um nice at higher gear levels once you've got your crit chance for the shatters as well as enough haste to actually like for blizzard not to feel like a 20 minute cast etc uh someone commented in the video that boomy's doing very well at the moment again it's it's been my main for so long it's always been the class i've run back to that i really want to challenge myself and play something different and i think mage is the class for me as long as they nerf frost um, or they do buff Arcane. I'd really like to see an Arcane buff, actually. Now, I'm actually tempted to pop cooldowns here. Is he going to line aside them? I have no idea what he's doing. Yeah, okay, so he's going to line aside. But the problem is, because he took so long, everyone's followed him through, and now no one knows what's going on. So is he just going to take them here now? No, he's going to move through. Nice. So I am actually going to pop my uh, cooldowns here. It's not a particularly nasty pack. Like, it's not particularly hard to kill. It's just the fact that it goes very badly very quickly. And, again, the cooldowns aren't massively used against the next boss either. Because there's a lot of moving. So I'm not going to stay and do the maximum amount of damage. So killing this is probably the right move. Let's get the Obliterator dead as well. Uh, so because of our legendary, oh sorry, because of our conduit, we got like almost a whole minute off. So again, icy veins last for thirty three seconds for some. Oh, because of our talent, uh, icy veins last for thirty seconds, so it lasts for a long time. Our conduit actually reduces the cooldown by one second for every critical hit during that time. Now we haven't got very high crit chance, but we've got high enough that we can make it work. The druid just fell down, which I'm not quite sure about okay i can't can't do both buddy and so i'm oh, it's only the mage it's fine what is going on go so i'm just again this isn't an ideal group and things like that but actually we still got a chance of timing this assuming everything goes correctly who's tanking this and why is it me So I'm actually going to have Frozen Orb here and get some uh, cleave damage in, because why not? Once my first one goes, I'll actually do the second one. I'm sure this is some MDI strat somewhere, but God, if I know about it. So we've got the second one as well now. It's going to help our damage at least, eh? By the time we kill this, the other mage should be back. Because I said there was actually still a chance we timed this somehow. I don't know how. Um, I don't actually know what eye level everyone is. It looks like... So the druid's quite well geared, like 205. The mage is 180 with no legendary and the wrong talents. The chamois, my sort of eye level, 195. I'm 193. So um, I'm trying to think where that would sit, like early expansion, would we have been able to do this? And the answer is probably not. I think, obviously, now that people are getting used to the dungeons, it's become much easier. So I'm even a frozen orb here. I just want this boss dying now. Bang. So we've got six minutes to kill the last boss. That mage is dead again. Not quite sure how, but we're going to have to kill these. But it's just not, not a choice thing. We're going to have to kill them. So as long as me and the shammy focus different ones. So the ideal way that we would have done this is he picks one side, I pick the other. And between the two of us, we'll probably cleave everything down quick enough. Um, looks like the healer's actually trying to help out in Boomy Affinity as well, which is pretty nice. So we did some pretty nice damage here. Again, Glacial Fragment's going to help out a lot. It would be really nice if the boss was going to stood on one of these, or one or two of these. Uh, but never mind. So where are they pulling from right now? Do you know what? I'm actually just going to get to a point where I start AoEing on the boss. 
probably a little bit DPS hungry, but I think we have time to time this anyway, and I think this is probably the safest way to do it. So let's get her done. The Shammy's really uh, making me want to play Shammy at some point next expansion. Uh, next tier, sorry. Again, we're still planning on trying to go for all 20s next tier. Um, so I'll be playing all of these different classes as well. Uh, playing different specs, which will be fun because I do like multi specking. Um, assuming Mage doesn't get much worse than it is or much better than it is and to a point it's horrible. I'll probably still be maining Mage. But um, I tried out Warlock the other day. Warlock was very interesting. Oh my lord, we have no damage. <laughs> no damage at all. What's funny is that my Boomy would hit, like, even at this high level, my Boomy would be holding, like, 8, 9k DPS here just because of all of the AoE at the start. You just stand in the middle of the room and dot everything up and let Starfall do the work. Have we actually got the other mage now? We do. So we're not going to be able to hit 4k overall, which is annoying because that's kind of roughly where I was aiming for here. Um, but I think the group just, if we'd have kill, if we'd had like two better DPS, and again, I'm not the best DPS in the world, but if we'd had two better DPS, I think everything would have died quick enough that I'd have had a higher overall DPS, strangely enough. So everyone's here, let them, okay, not letting the healer drink, that's pretty nice of us. And let's see what we can do. So quite importantly, I want to make sure I'm taking... Um, did he die from that, or did he just get low health? I'm pretty sure he just anked. Um, pretty crucial to get all of my damage out before the soaks, because I feel like I'm going to try and soak too. Uh, we also don't want to be taking any extra damage. One, the healer didn't get a full drink, and two, it's just scary. So I'm actually going to stand here and soak too. Stand in it, please, anybody. Thank you. So we have Alter Time and Cold Snap for the next one, so I don't really mind burning that there. Um, and again, it's not about pulling top DPS all the time. Sometimes it really is just about being the most useful person in your team, and actually doing that in that situation meant that we weren't going to wipe to it. So I probably was one of the most useful people in our team. That's going to go too far away, I know, but... So we've got a cold snap. I'm going to pop all the time now so we can take lots and lots of damage. Actually not taking that much, which is pretty cool. Pop it back and let's go. Uh, yeah, so overall pretty uh, nicely done. We did time it. Oh, we haven't actually done percentage. Let's go. Are you going to go back to the start, or are we running this way? Okay, no. Oh my god, what, what a faz. I think this portals us right to the start. It does. Yeah, let's go. Oh, he's already started, has he? Has he, what's he got? His Earth Ellie tanking. Nice. I kind of miss the fact that we don't use Water Elemental, but I also kind of don't miss it, because I hate pack classes. Despite the fact that Warlock is probably one of my favourite classes and Hunter's also something I've like done a lot of work on. I hate pack classes, <laughs> ironically enough. But hey. Boom, we did it. So somehow we timed this. Uh, we pulled 3.8k overall damage with 20% of that coming from our Legend. Or 21% of that coming from our Legendary. Um, so in the previous runs where I've tried Frost, we wondered why we weren't doing a lot of damage. Well, 20% of our damage was missing. Um, yeah, so we did beat the Shami overall. Um, the mage just... Yeah, the mage was running the wrong talents. Just not ideal. Um, yeah, so interesting run. We did time it. Going to leave the video in a second after we get our loot. Uh, so getting to the point where I have enough valor to upgrade my changeling. That will probably be the next step here. Um, get to 194, 195 eye level. Again, we still have some like 168 pieces that if I was really motivated for, I'd probably go and do Renown and get them up to like 190, whatever it is. Is it 195 you get? I don't know. I do miss um, Soul Shape though from Night Fae. Once you've had it, that spell's hard to get rid of. 
is there anything we actually want from here? Not that. Doesn't matter, we're not getting anything anyway. <laughs> Two people got loot. We did get some renown and some anima. Woohoo, lucky us. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. It's been quite an interesting run. Um, but yeah, and I'll uh, see you in the next video. Catch you later, guys. Bye.